Hi, welcome to Ramzan Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about our new topic about the plant, not not of the uh, human. So let's come about. We are going to talk about the uh, basic concept of the flower, the life cycle of flowering plant. So let's come about. Student, uh, a flower uh, goes through several stages uh, uh, during its growing, its uh, production to about the new generation. A flower has to go from these stages, then have to reproduce the next generation. So let's come about. The first stage and the life of the flower is the development of gametophyte. Gametophyte or the reproductive or the generative cell of the plant which it produces for the production of the next generation. There are two types of gametophyte. One is the female gametophyte and second is the male gametophyte. Student, you know that as I go to a new generation, uh, a new generation mate during when the male and female gametophyte uh, mix with each other, so it make a zygote which then uh, lead to next generation. So let's come about the first one is the female gametophyte or we can say at egg cell. So let's come about at structure. Female gametophyte, how the female gametophyte uh, produced in the flower. So there are two parts in the flower. One is the carpel, which is the female reproductive part, and second is the stamen, which is the male. But now we are going to talk about the female, so let's come about. A female a reproductive part, the carpel, so you, you know this whole part is called carpel and this called as a stigma, okay? This is called stigma and this is called style, okay? But now we are only focusing our study only toward the uri. Because Uri is the main reproductive part and the carpel. And the, inside the Uri, there are some uh, projection like structure which we call Ool. This Ool, I have zoomed in there. This Ool contains some megasporangium. The reproductive uh, cells of the flower, is, the female reproductive cell of the flower is called megasporangium. While the female is called microsporangium, we will talk about it later. Okay. So the wool contain megasporangium. This is called mega I right here. Mega sporangium. Very big name. Okay. This is mega sporangium. So and when we take one cell from it, we call it megaspore. So I have taken only one cell from there, so this is called megaspore. And the wool, the megaspore, or we can also say the mother cell. Because the mother is female, so we call it megaspore and also mother cell. And the mother cell, the mother cell is deployed of chromosome, like if the uh, uh, plant has a poor chromosome, so the mother cell also has poor chromosome. There is no any concession, any reducing of the chromosome. So the mother cell is 2N. I have right, I have written there is a 2N. Okay, 2N. So it is a deployed cell because it contains the double chromosome, like uh, it is contained pull, it is pull cell of chromosomes. Okay, so. Now this megaspore is a mother cell, so it divided into four cell, four daughter cells by the process of meiosis. Because in meiosis we study that one cell will divide into four cell, so now this deployed cell divided into four cell by the process of meiosis. Okay. Now in this poor cell, only one cell become active. Like I have taken this, this only one cell become active, so I have zoomed in there. This only one cell become active. This cell then produce eight nuclei by mitosis, by three times mitosis. Okay, how? Like 
uh, this is one cell I am showing you their pool diagram this is one cell so on the first uh, my task it will divide into one there and one there one there and one there one there and one there so there uh, there is one my task is okay there is the second my task is they become poor cell now uh, on the third uh, my task is it will this will also produce two and this will also produce two and this will also produce two and the this will also produce two okay so on the third my task is it will produce two two four six eight so it will produce eight nuclei but not the complete cell it will produce only nuclei and a only a cell like structure there will be eight nuclei so on the uh, next stage there will be something new occur the and the eight uh, nuclei the two nuclei will come to the center one will from this stage like this and second from this so two nuclei will migrate to the center and the three will remain on the uh, one polar and second as the another pole so two nuclei will migrate to the uh, center and it will fuse together and form a fusion nucleus so you can see here this is a fusion nucleus because one uh, nuclei came from one pole and another came from another pole so it will produce a fusion nucleus okay and the remaining six cells so there the one cell we call it a is ig i have drawn it the remaining six cell the one cell is called ig and the pi are called non functional cells so the female gametophyte is permit female gametophyte we can also say it is a like uh, i am drawing here is a okay it is a pusin nucleus and This is called the ego. It's called ego, and this is the nucleus. And this pio are the non-functional cell. So you can see, you can see, we can say that uh, the female gametophyte is composed of three structure. One is the fusion nucleus, second is the egg cell, and the third is the pio non-functional cell. We can say it uh, is a uh, embryo sac. Because when the male and female gametophyte mix together, fuse, so the embryo stay in this. So we can also say the female gametophyte is an embryo sac. Next is the topic about the uh, male gametophyte, or we can say it uh, is pollen grain or sperm. We uh, studied about the female gametophyte, which we call egg cell, but now we are going to talk about the male gametophyte, which we can also say the foreign grain or sperm. So let's uh, come about its production, how it produced. Okay, so a flower contained two parts. One was the uh, female product part, which was scarpel. Now there is another male part, which we call the stamen. And the stamen, there are two parts one is the filament and second is anther anther is the main part where the sperm or the pollen grain produced the filament is a structure which hold the uh, anther off okay so the pollen grain uh, contain uh, some mother cells which we call as a microsporangia sporangium and also called as a pollen sacs so the, they contain a lot of uh, microsporangium cell. We uh, we studied about the female gametophyte, which we call the megasporangium, but now it is called microsporangium. Okay, so the single cell is called microspore mother cell, which is diploid. This cell is diploid, and the uh, and it will be applied to an other stage okay so microspore is called the mother cell it is deployed it is divided into four daughter cell by the process of meiosis like uh, in meiosis we said that uh, a cell must be divided into poor cell applied cells so meiosis is 
So this cell is divided through the meiosis into four uh, daughter cell, which we call as microspore haploid. It means haploid cell. So it produces poor haploid cell. In the poor haploid cell, only one cell undergoes again the process of mitosis. In the mitosis, this cell divides into two cells. In mitosis, we say that one cell must be divided into two cells. So this cell divided, this haploid cell divided into two cells, but not in the same cell structure. Cell structure is the same, like we say that uh, the karyokinases occur, but the cytokinases don't occur. So it will be in the same structure. One cell will be the tube cell, and second will be the generator cell, in the same cell structure. Okay, so this structure we also call it uh, is pouring grain. And we call it as male gametophyte, which is done by the process of mitosis. So this haploid cell undergoes the process of mitosis. So this cell was uh, deployed, and this cell is haploid. So we can say that the uh, male gametophyte is also haploid, and the female gametophyte was also haploid. So when haploid, haploid fused together, so it lead to the production of a diploid cell, which will be studied in next uh, stage, the paralyzation and pollination. Our next stage about the life cycle of the flower is the pollination. In pollination, uh, we, will, we will say that uh, we, saw, we studied uh, about that the uh, female gametophyte is the uh, egg cell which form it in the ovary, while the male gametophyte is the pollen grain, which have form it in the uh, enter of the stamen, the male uh, part, reproductive part of the flower. So, pollination is a process after the producing of the gametophyte by the flower, in which these produced uh, pollen grain are transferred from the enter of the stamen to the stigma of the carpel. So, these are the uh, gametophytes, and these, this cell is called generative cell, generative cell, and this is called tube cell. Okay, so this cell come before like this, like it is like this. So, this cell come like this structure and this come like this. So this is the tube cell and this is the generator cell. So the tube cell firstly come and uh, deep down and produce a pore, a tube and the stigma of the carpel. So it is like this. So it come like this and produce a tube. So it is palmed like this. So at this mow down like this, this is the generator cell and this is the tube cell. So it goes down and produces a tube and reach this stage. Okay. So the next stage will be the fertilization. In pollination, there uh, will be uh, two types of pollination. One will be the cell pollination, in which the only one flower is involved, uh, in which the enter from the same flower is. Uh, uh, Pull, uh, pull on the uh, stigma of the same flower, like and uh, it may be in the same plants. And there is another pollination which we call cr uh, cross pollination, in which uh, the pollen are carried from another flower to the uh, stigma of another flower of the same species. Next is our topic about the uh, fertilization. Fertilization. In fertilization, in pollination, we saw that the pollen grain are uh, carried from the uh, enter of the carp, uh, stamen to the stigma of the carpel. So it moves down and produce a pollen tube by the tube cell of the pollen grain. Now the pollen grain reach this stage. So there is a pore in the egg cell. So this is egg cell. Excel are we can say uri okay and this spore is called the uh, micropyle 
اسكال مايكروبايل ويندي بولين جرين ويدي جينيريتو سيل ان السو دي توب سيل ريتش دي ستيج سو ات انتر دي ايك سيل ان دي ايك سيل دي جينيريتو سيل بروديوس تو سبرم اوكي سو ات بروديوس تو سبرم لايك ديس ات دوار ان دو تو ان بروديوس تو سبرم Okay, the one sperm goes and pews with the uh, with the egg cell. This is egg cell, okay? This is egg cell, especially egg cell. This is these all are not. This is egg cell. So the one sperm goes and pews with the egg cell. So the egg cell will become large. large and the another cell another sperm goes and pews with the uh, two pews in nucleus so it is two pews in nucleus it the another sperm goes and pews with it so it produces uh, not two it produce three and nu uh, nucleus so now the haploid pollen grain uh, pews with the haploid egg cell Is it also applied in the pollen grain? Is also applied. So they applied, applied, pulse with each other and produce a diploid cell. So the egg cell become a diploid cell, and the three n nucleus become uh, the two n nucleus become three n nucleus. So its structure will like this. These are the non-functional cell. And this is the pusin nucleus. So inside this, there will be three nucleus. Okay, this is three n pusin nucleus. And there is the two r non-functional cell. Okay, and the third one is the enlarged cell, which is the combination of egg cell and the pollen grain. Then we call it as a zygote. Zygote is a combination of pollen grain, which is a haploid cell, and the egg cell, which is also haploid. So the haploid haploid become uh, together. So it lead to the uh, production of zygote, which then lead to another plant. So the next topic. after the fertilization the the egg cell converted into a zygote so zygote and the another sperm which fuses with the nucleus it convert into endosperm okay it convert into endosperm so this is the diagram like this in this structure this is the zygote okay this is the zygote which formed from the combination of egg cell and the pollen grain okay and this remaining of the cell is called endosperm which provide nourishment to the cell in order to grow to another plant okay now the wool this Whole structure is called wool. So this outer structure is called the wool. It convert into seed. Seed. And so I will mention a, a little bit diagram. Here is. It is nested over. Okay. So this is the. This is the whole ovary. Inside this, a this is called the wool, and this is called the zygote and the endosperm. Inside this, this structure is called the zygote, and this other is called the endosperm. So this is zygote, and this structure is called endosperm. Endosperm and this outer structure is called the wool, but 
and now this convert into seed so the oil is a become now the seed and the whole ori this whole ori this whole ori converted into fruit which we eat okay our next topic is about a development of sporophyte sporophyte is actually the next generation the spore formation in the life cycle of the flower when this zygote is permeated and the seed is also permeated and the fruit is also permeated so when the uh, zygote gain as a tubal condition so it convert back into a new plant which then grow into a new plant so this then grow or so then it grow again the production of uh, gametophyte and these endosperm causes the uh, uh, nourishment of the this another uh, plant so student uh, this was the structure and life cycle of the uh, flowering plant so i hope that you have learned more about my lecture so please subscribe my channel to receive more of my videos